Hi, it's Nirka. Namaste. Blessings and greetings. It is New Year's and I am here in Hana, Maui. I'm actually on the beach this morning. You can see the ocean back there and it's been an incredible, incredible adventure. And this is my very first uh, video blog for 2011, which is something I'm really inspired to do is connect more with you, uh, not just via our events and our trainings and our programs, but also via these video blogs. So I have an insight for you, something that I practice, and I don't just practice this at New Year's. This is one of my practices to magically materialize my vision into form. And I'd love to share it with you. So the key thing is you got to be able to have a vision of that which it is that you are committed to you know, bring in and materialize. And of course, it's essential to believe that that's possible for you, that you could absolutely make it happen. So the three things are, uh, number one, clarity of intention, to be crystal clear on what it is that you are calling into existence. Number two is high concentration, being able to focus on that which you are bringing into form. And number three is non-attachment. And this is really, really the key, being in that space of allowing, being in that space of detachment or non-attachment. So number one is, what is it? What is it that you are inspired to bring into form? And what you could do is you could just really sit in a centered place and imagine that almost as if you're seeing it uh, on a movie screen in front of you where you could see someone on that screen that looks remarkably like you and that person is living the full expression of that vision and you can absolutely see it. So notice what you see, notice what you hear, notice what you feel as you're watching this person on that screen. And then what you can do is really juice up that image, make it big and bright and make it crisp and clear. And what you're doing as you're activating that intention, you're breathing life into it as you continue to enhance the, the colors and the sounds and the feelings and really just take it up to a peak. And when you feel that it's up to a peak, step into the movie. So you step into the movie and now you're looking out through your own eyes and you're looking out and it's already done. It's already done. That's you get to that moment where something will, it'll click for you. And what you'll realize is it's already done in the unseen world. And every single thing, when you think about it, that is in form started out in the realm of thought or in the realm of ideas. So what you're doing is you're bringing your beingness into alignment with this vision. And then you're, you know, you're, you're seeing it, you're hearing it, you're feeling it. And this is the key to magical materialization is you gotta be able to see it. You gotta be able to see it, hear it, and feel it in your mind's eye, and then concentrate on it. High concentration is one of the keys to magical materialization, being able to focus and concentrate and hold that, hold that image, hold that intention with this sensation, this, this intense emotion and sensation that it's already done. You know it to be done. And then in that space, once that clicks, it's like, poof, you release it. You release it. And you have that knowingness that it will return unto you. And that if it doesn't return in the way that you initially thought, something even better, even more magnificent is coming your way. So the key thing really is that third step, is being in that space of non-attachment. Because sometimes the universe has something in store for you that is even so much greater than anything you could have ever even envisioned. And when you stay in that opening, you know, where you're focused on your intention while being open to the infinite possibilities around you, this is the space where magic happens. This is a space where you're open to the great mystery that is all around you. And I'm here in this total open space to the great mystery and it's been an incredible sacred adventure. And I'm coming back uh, to the mainland on Friday and we'll be having a lot more exciting juicy things for you in store to ensure that you create the space to have 2011 be the most magical and juicy and amazing and fulfilling and powerful and centered and balanced year of your life. So blessings to you, so much love and namaste.